<clears throat> Hi. Uh, I wanted to show you an idea I had about these fun little fidget poppers. Um, I got this at Dollar Tree. Uh, it was a little, it's a little notebook, comes in a bunch of different colors. It doesn't come in white because, you know, fidget poppers are more for having fun with. So bright colors it was. So I chose a purple one. Anyways, it's a little notebook attached to the fidget popper. And what I did was take this little, it's just so much fun to get, this idea is just so much fun. I actually had a reason. Well, let me get it apart. <laughs> I'm going to take it off of here. And to take it off of here, all I did was undo the spiral just a little bit. I just have to find the beginning of the spiral. There it is. So, there's that part. And then this part just, it just comes off the spiral like so. Okay. The idea I had was, this looks like little wells, okay? And I had this big set of watercolors that I, I don't like to take with me places. And so it was just inconvenient. I, it's old. I mean, really old. They were my dad's. And I wanted to, I wanted to have a travel palette. It's the deal. Travel palette. I didn't realize when I went to do this project that these were very, very stuck in their tubes. I had to cut the tubes open to get the paint out. That's fine. I got what I wanted into my little travel palette, but I'm going to show you the idea with some other paints. Once the watercolor is dry in the palette, you can reconstitute it. It's watercolor. And I happen to like palette type watercolors better because they're smaller. So I'm going to tell you that I took all of these watercolors and put them in here the same way I'm going to show you with some different watercolors. Okay, I have to get this out of the way though. So what we're making is a small travel palette with dry watercolors where you don't have to have another palette. And it just so happens that I had these ones from Dollar Tree. So we're just going, to, I'm just going to show you how I put the ones out from the other. I just put some in here. Okay. I'm not even going to do them all because there's no real reason for you to watch me. The thing about it is, is once they dry, they get nice and hard. This is, this is how bad that old set was, but that's okay. It's still useful and it still works. Well, let's just pull this piece of paper out. This will work. And then you can take your water brush, pick up some paint, and paint with it. Let me bring it in so you can really see what this has done to make this little palette. Okay. 
see so you just put them in there wet they dry and then you have a palette now I'll show you one step thing that I was that I, my plan is this is another little Dollar Tree box these came from Dollar Tree it fits right in this Dollar Tree box like so my watercolor brushes my wet my that, that one doesn't fit These fit right in there. And now I have a to-go box with my watercolors. So if you've got a big box of tubed watercolors and you want a smaller dry palette, this is gonna work perfect. I'm really excited about this. I'm, I'm real pleased with this idea. Um, it makes it much easier to take out somewhere to use. Um, like I said, these were very dried out, and I did have to, like, literally open all the tubes to get them out. But these other watercolors will work the same way and um, dry out and behave just the same as those. So I, I possibly will put both sets of watercolors in there. Both of the little trays will fit on top. Anyways, I just wanted to show you an idea because the day I went to buy um, palette boxes to do this with, they were kind of pricey. And for a dollar and a quarter, I have a tiny little palette right here. Uh, if you wanted to have a palette for mixing acrylics, this little popper would probably work nice for that if you were using small amounts. Um, I, I, I think they, they as a palette, it's a, it's a kind of nifty idea. So I hope that gives you some information. I hope that's something that gives you some ideas. Go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.